Now what we have here is a good question on sequences and recurrence relationships. So we've got a sequence of numbers, A1, A2, A3, first term, second term, third term, and so on, is defined by the first term A1 equaling 3, and then the n plus 1th term, A n plus 1, is equal to 2 times the nth term, A n, minus a constant C where n is greater than or equal to 1, and c is a constant. And what we've got is three parts to this question, a, b, and c, and in the first part, we've got to write down an expression in terms of c for the term a2, the second term in the sequence, in other words. Well, this is fairly straightforward. All we've got to do for part a, then, is just let n equal 1. So I'm going to say when n equals 1, if we use this relationship here, you can see that we've got a 1 add 1. In other words, the second term, a 2, in the sequence. So we've got, therefore, a 2 is going to equal 2 times a 1. OK, 2 times a 1 minus that constant c. Now we're told that the first term in the sequence, a1, is 3. So therefore, the second term, a2, must be equal to 2 times 3, which is clearly going to be 6 minus c. So we've been able to write down an expression in terms of c, then, for a2. Now for the next part, part b, we've got to work out, then, what a3 is. We've got to show that the third term in the sequence A3 is 12 minus 3C. And this is easy to do because all we do now is we just say when n equals 2. And when n equals 2, we're going to get a 2 add 1, the third term in the sequence A3, so therefore A3 is going to be equal to 2 times A2, because n is 2, 2 times the second term in the sequence minus c. Now we know what the second term in the sequence is, we just worked it out as 6 minus c. So we've got 2 multiplied by 6 minus c, and then minus the c there. And if we expand the bracket, we have 2 times 6, which is 12, and then 2 times minus c, which is minus 2c, minus a further c is going to be minus 3c. And that's what we had to show. Show that a3, the third term in the sequence, equals 12 minus 3c. OK, well, we come on now to the final part of the question, part c. And in part c, we're given that sigma of ai, that's the sum of the first four terms, because i goes from 1 to 4, is greater than or equal to 23. We're given that statement, and we've got to find the range of values of c. So if I just write down what we're given, that is the sum of the terms ai, i going from 1 to 4, is greater than or equal to 23. So what does this really mean? Well, we're summing a1, when i is 1, a1, plus when i is 2, a2, plus when i is 3, a3, and finally when i is 4, we've got a4. And that is greater than or equal to 23. Well, what is the first term of the sequence a1? Well, we know that it's 3. So we've got therefore 3 plus the second term of the sequence, a2, well, we work that out as 6 minus c. So we've got plus 6 minus c. a3, what's that? Well, we worked it out here as 12 minus 3c. 12 minus 3c. But now we've got to work out a4, the fourth term in the sequence. Well, we can do that by just letting n equal 3. We're going to get a4 here is going to be equal to 2 times a3 minus c. So I'm just going to write plus 2 times a3 minus c for a4. And that's got to be greater than or equal to 23. So let's just clean up what we've got here so far. We've got the 3 and the 6 is 9, and the 12 is 21. So we've got 21. 
And then if we group up the C terms, we've got minus C minus 3C minus another C, so that's going to be minus 5C. And then we've got 2 times A3, so we've got plus 2 times A3, which is 12 minus 3C. 12 minus 3c and we're told this is greater than or equal to 23. So we can expand the bracket now we've got 21 minus 5c for the first two terms and then we've got plus 24 minus 6c and that's greater than or equal to 23. So again if we group up the constants now 21 plus 24 that's going to be 45 so therefore we've got 45 minus 5c minus 6c is minus 11c is greater than or equal to 23 and if we subtract 23 from both sides and add 11c to both sides we have 45 minus 23 which is 22 and if we add that 11c to both sides that's greater than or equal to 11c divide both sides by 11 now and you got 2 is greater than or equal to C but I'm going to turn that round and I get C is less than or equal to 2. Okay so I hope that's given you some idea then on how to work with these recurrence relationships for sequences. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this particular example.